Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will be discussing about scrap during manufacturing. In order, scrap during manufacturing refers to the unusual products or components that is left over or the product that fails to meet the quality during manufacturing process. So we can use different um, ways to manage the scraps in order to send in manufacturing, that is scrapping the components. We can scrap a components before manufacturing a product or when the manufacturing is ongoing and this can be done from the shop floor or from the manufacturing work center and we can also just scrap the finished components so the scrapping of the finished components will be done if it doesn't meet uh, the quality standards so let's see how can we manage the scrapping of the product in Odo empty manufacturing to manage with the scrap orders, let's move on to the manufacturing module and under the operations, we have a section to manage with the scrap orders. So here you can see the scrap orders that is created and we know we can scrap the item uh, while manufacturing or we can also scrap the entire product once the manufacturing is uh, finished. This is because sometimes when we uh, are in the manufacturing process, we know certain components may be damaged or cannot be used for manufacturing purposes. So in such cases, we can just scrap certain components only. And after the manufacturing also, the entire product may be damaged or cannot be uh, used or not may uh, fit for selling. So in such cases, we may scrap the entire product. So here you can find uh, the um, how we are just going to scrap the orders. So in order to scrap the orders, let's move on to the operations and let's create a manufacturing order over here. And I'm going to uh, scrap the product uh, or component over here while manufacturing the item. So here you can choose the bill of material, uh, which is a uh, table. And uh, let's uh, choose the bill of material. As we just choose the bill of material, here you can see that the components as well as the work orders will be automatically popped in the field. And we can save uh, the manufacturing order. Later on, we can just confirm the manufacturing order. Now we just need to plan the manufacturing order for the work center. So we can just click on the plan button. Later on, we can just um, start this uh, um, working or manufacturing operation from the assembly line one work center. So in order to do that, you can just click on start. And here you can see that as you just went through the manufacturing or when you just plan for the manufacturing of the item, you just um, came to notice that one of the material is uh, scrap. So here you can see that uh, we can uh, choose the material that we just want to move into the scrap. So here table leg is just broken. So you can set the quantity that you just need into the scrap location. So the product will be taking from the source location as warehouse stock and the scrap products will be moving to the scrap location which is virtual location of scrap. And if you want to replenish the quantities, you can just enable this field. Now, if I'm not replenishing that quantities, now let's move on uh, with this scrap product, which is uh, one quantity of table leg like, is currently broken. So we just need to scrap that. So let's uh, scrap the item so that one quantity is scrapped and you can find the scrapped materials under the uh, tab over here. And you can also find its reference number, the date uh, on which the component is scrapped, the product name as well as the quantity, source, location and the way the product is uh, moved or where we have just stored the scrapped components and you can also find which company has set the components as scrap. Now let's move on to the manufacturing order. Later on here we can just start with the manufacturing process. Now we know that we can also scrap the item even after the um, manufacturing process is completed. So let's start the manufacturing uh, process. Now here we cannot just click on 10 uh, or uh, close the production as we just need to go with uh, some of the quality check. So as we just click on 10, here you can see that you will get a pop-up window showing the invalid operation because you need to complete the quality check using the shop flow before making work order as 10. So let's close this. So either you can uh, yeah, manage with the scrap orders from uh, the shop floor or you can just manage it from the manufacturing app. So in order to uh, manage that, let's move on to the shop floor. And here we just need to uh, manage with uh, the um, yeah quality check of the product table. So in order to do that, let's uh, go to the assembly line one. And here we just need to set the worksheet 
and here you can see that we have set the worksheet everything is done and uh, the other thing is we have to generate a serial number for the final product so that is generated now we just need to uh, just give the picture of the product table so as we just want the um, yeah files here we can just apply the uh, picture of the table and we just need to um, register the components and we can just do that so in order to uh, do the component registration you can just click on validate later on you can just go with the next process that is a uh, table legs and click on next and here you can see that we have done everything and we can just validate this process so afterwards you can uh, print the labels also if you don't want to print that you can just close this wizard and here you can see that we have done with everything now under the three dots you can see that if you want to scrap the item you can scrap it from here and even the components can be scrapped over here um, now I don't need to scrap any of the components because uh, we have already scrapped the broken component now we can just close the production okay so for that uh, let me um, yeah close the uh, production over here so to do that let's close the shop floor and let's move on to the manufacturing module and in the manufacturing module let's move on to the uh, manufacturing orders where we can find the order that we are just going with and here you can find the order that is a uh, table and uh, yeah let's choose the uh, order and here you can see we can just um, complete the manufacturing order by clicking on 10 and still here you can see that we have to uh, go with some of the yeah um, quality checks because we haven't completed that so let's move on to the shop floor itself and we can just close the production because we haven't closed the production so um, even if you try to close the production here you can see we haven't uh, done that one of the quality check is missing there because we have only completed six uh, quality checks over here so let's move on to the assembly line one and let's print the label so as we uh, just print the label then only we can just complete with the process um, that is doing of the um, quality check so we can save this and let's click as mark as done now we can just close the production so um, later on we can just close the shop floor and let's move on to the manufacturing module now under the uh, operations you can just go to the um, manufacturing order that we are dealing with and uh, if you want to just scrap the entire product we can also scrap that so as we just move on to the scrap here you can see that now we can only choose the entire product which is the final product table so if we want to scrap this item we can just uh, move on to the uh, product I mean let's choose the entire product and let's scrap the product over here and we can also assign the uh, load number uh, that we just need to scrap so let's scrap the item and here you can see that we have just done with the scrapping and you can see now the um, scrapping has uh, incremented with the count too because uh, already we had just scrapped the component leg uh, that is the table leg and after manufacturing the product table we just came to notice that this is not fit for selling so we just need to scrap the item also and we have just done that and you can also find the traceabilities over here as well as you can also get the product moves uh, with the um, all the details such as the date, reference, product name, load number or serial number that we have provided as well as the uh, from where the product is taken and to which location it has moved and this also shows the number of quantities that is taken and final product created now uh, let's move on to the overview and here you can find the overview which shows the details of the entire product with the quantity unit cost and MO cost as well as real cost and this also shows the components that is required for uh, manufacturing the final product and that also shows the operational cost um, and the employee associated for this manufacturing so that's all uh, with dealing with the scrapping in uh, manufacturing so this helps you to manage the amount of waste generated during the production of a particular product and this also improves the efficiency in manufacturing
So I hope this video clarifies how to manage this crap during manufacturing in Odoo 17. And if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.